those your new 4G phones? 4G? I just upgraded to 5G like 23 seconds ago. Huh. Uh, what happened to my- Oh, my new jacket? I just picked it up 12 seconds ago. Whatever. Did you guys hear about the new Final Fantasy game? Yeah, of course I've heard of it. I just beat it 10 seconds ago. Huh. I didn't know the game came out already. Well, anyway, did you see the new Sci-Fi Productions video? Yeah, I just started watching it 32 seconds ago. Well, did you hear what my girlfriend gave to me on Valentine's Day? Your girlfriend just dumped you on Facebook 31 seconds ago. Like. What? She did? Yeah. I just proposed to her 18 seconds ago. How could you? 13 seconds ago. Oh, 5G! I hate 5G! Why is it everywhere? Why is it so much faster than me? 5G? Damn it, 5G! You know what? I'm over this. Yeah. I got his 5G phone. Now I'm faster than him. He can't block my punches anymore. I'll be so fast, he won't see what's coming. Oh, yeah. Surf faster, move faster. Five seconds ago, I just upgraded to 6G. You thought 4G was a thing of the past. 5G's too slow, too. Get it instantly with Telestar's 6G network. Telestar, the network of the future. Damn it, 5G! 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 Why? 5G, I hate this 5G. It's taking over everything. Oh my god, 5G! 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 Hey, what's going on? Just making a sandwich. Nice. Smells good. <laughs> Where's my sandwich? Did you make me a sandwich? I made you a sandwich. Can't you see I'm trying to save the goddamn world, man? Out of the way. Sorry. I guess that's no. Did you take my sandwich? What sandwich was that? My peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh. I'm not sure. Uh, not me. I know you did it. You got me. I'll have to make you a new one. In this house. There are three men and one peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Jack is checking his fancy football team. Matt is playing Call of Duty. Spencer is making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Spencer finishes his peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Matt and Jack both smell it. Man, that sandwich smells good. Spencer had to go use the bathroom. He only took one bite out of his sandwich. Spencer comes back to finish his sandwich only to find that it was stolen. Spencer told me all about it. 
he said it took him an hour to make that sandwich. How can you take an hour to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? He puts way too much attention to detail. Of course it gets stolen if the sandwich is that good. What was he thinking? Spencer confronts Matt. Matt gets mad that he is being distracted from playing Call of Duty. Spencer figures out that Matt did not do it. So he goes to talk to Jack. He confronts Jack and he can already tell that Jack did steal it. That peanut butter and jelly on his face is screaming it. Jack apologizes and tells him that he will make him a new sandwich. there's a missing sandwich. Oh, you must be the detective. Yeah, that's sandwich. It took him an hour to make that sandwich. I mean, you can't take an hour to make a sandwich. It's ridiculous. And you've been to Arizona? It's, it's freaking cold there. I mean, I go there in layers. Everybody else is all shirts and shorts, and it's freaking cold there. I mean, so it's, what time was this sandwich stolen? Uh, I think it was about like 30 or 40 minutes ago. Oh, man, you ever been to Texas? It is freezing there. It is just I, I, I don't know why everybody says it's hot there. It is freaking cold in Texas. It is just so... Oh, my God. I mean, and then, of course, at Death Valley, I mean, yeah, that's supposed to be really hot. I don't know. No, it, it's freezing in Death Valley. I, I, I can't stand going there. I, I could wear tons of layers and be freezing when in Death Valley. I just... Did you see this? Oh, no. Uh, oh, this is his favorite kind of bread. Uh, I always hate this kind of bread. I don't know why you buy this kind of bread. I mean, I, I prefer Italian bread. Italian bread is awesome. The problem with Italy is that it's always so cold there. And then, like, you go to Brazil where they say it's hot. It's, it's really cold there. In Australia, it's cold. It's freezing in Mexico. I mean, it's, it's cold everywhere you go. I mean, I'll, I don't think there's any such thing as hot temperature. Cold. Do you have any uh, visitors that come by? Yeah, I have a friend named Dick. He, he likes to come here play video games. Sometimes he helps me clean up uh, with the cleaning and stuff. But it, it, he's, a, he's actually a really cool guy. He's, where does... Where does Dick, where does he like to eat? Oh, Dick, yeah, he likes to eat over in the living room. He watches this really weird show while he eats called uh, Family Guy. It's, it doesn't make any sense. Like, there's this dog named Brian who talks, who he wants to get in bed with Lois. And, uh, you know, Stewie, uh, Stewie, he's just a really weird character. He's like this little baby that, uh, can talk and, like, he, he's evil and, or something, and he, like, wants to take over the world, wants to kill his mom. He hates his mom so much. Oh, man, it's, it's just so cold. I can't believe how cold it is in this room. It's, which is fans rock. Oh, and uh, what was your name? I never got your name. My name. My name is Fan. Fan Lampshade. Fan Lampshade. Uh, is that Chinese? Sure. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. It's it's really cold in this in this room. I mean, I wish like I was allowed to you know turn the fans off, but. For whatever reason, there's this policy that says, oh, yeah, since I work here and I don't actually live here, I, I can't turn the fans off for some reason. I can let guests in, but I can't turn the fans off. I mean, it'd be really nice if I could turn the fans off. It's freaking freezing here. And, and in July, it was freezing. Oh, yeah, and uh, in August, man, August, it was really, really cold. I don't know why it was so cold in August, but, I mean, oh, man, the desert. The desert is just so freezing cold. I just can't tell how cold it is there. People say it's hot, but no, it, it, it's cold. It's just freezing cold in the desert. It's Sahara and Safari. And, Here's a clue. Oh, it's, it's another one of those... Uh, pieces of bread, huh? That's, that's interesting. That, that, yeah, that's his favorite bread. I still don't know why it's his favorite bread. It doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, anywho, the desert, man, it's freezing there. And it's, Who shades? Oh, those, those are Dick's shades. That's weird. I mean, Dick, he, he, he doesn't leave his shades around. He always, he's always has, he always has his shades on. He never takes his shades off, ever. And 
But anyway, like Death Valley, it's freezing there. If you don't wear a jacket, you're going to freeze over. It is just so cold in the desert. And, oh, actually, you know, I need to get back to work. I'm, I'm going to clean the window. But you can uh, follow me and ask some questions if, you, if you'd like. I mean, I've got to get back to work, though. But, yeah, feel free to ask some questions. What? So you took the sandwich. Yeah. So what are you going to do about it? some sort of crime scene. Uh, make sure Agent G's with you too. Thanks. This is Chief. We have an assignment. Okay. Let's not shoot the guy this time. What are you doing here? I had to get a burger and some lemon lime soda. Hello? Yes, I'd like a junior cheeseburger and a Sprite. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this isn't what I want. This is, this is a Coke. I want a Sprite. Ah! You gotta be kidding me. What the hell is this? I can't believe this. You gave me a Coke and got a Sprite.
Agent F, did you go to the place yet? Oh, this is below. You guys at the donut shop again? Oh my goodness. Get back to me when you figure it out. It's the chief. Bubblegum Street, Apartment 1000. I need you and Agent G to head over there right away. Got it. This one sounds serious. I'm sending some backup. That won't be necessary. We're already here. You are? But I thought you guys were trying to find the stolen soccer ball. Uh, we found it at a nearby school and heard the gunshots. You were hesitating there. I'm getting very suspicious. Don't worry, we didn't shoot the guy. I never said anything about you shooting anyone. What did you guys do? I just wanted to assure you, we didn't shoot him. Me and Agent G are trying to find out who did. Okay, make sure you find that bastard. Make sure he pays for his freaking crimes. Oh guys, what happened? I just heard 
gunfire. Is everyone okay? No. Now we have to hide two bodies. All right, you wait here. I'll find a place to hide them. Country music. There we go. Tell me why you want to work. 
Sean Company. Because I think the Sean Company is awesome. Dick! Ugh, what are you doing here? Dude, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just watching TV, man. What's the problem? Welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Thousandaire? I am Johnson Wilcox and here with me is Michael Schumacher. He's going for $800, just three questions away from the $1,000 grand prize. All right, $800 question, here we go. In the Sly Fry Productions film, The Stolen Sandwich, who was the victim of The Stolen Sandwich? Was it A, Jack, B, Matt, C, Spencer or D Megatron I don't know I'm kind of stuck between Jack and Megatron um, I think I'd like to use my lifeline I'd like to call my dad so you'd like to call your dad okay let's get Michael's dad on the line hello Hello, I'm Johnson Wilcox from Who Wants to Be a Thousandaire. We have your son, Michael, here. Hi, I'm your dad. Right, well, he's having trouble with an $800 question. He needs your help. So you have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. In the movie, The Stolen Sandwich, who gets a sandwich stolen? Matt, Jack, Spencer, Megatron. You know, son, I never heard of this film. It must have not been very good. Sorry about that. I'm your dad. Wait a minute, I know the answer. I've seen this film before. It's a Sly Fi Productions film. The answer. The answer is. Oh, your dad was so close to giving you an answer. So, what would you like to do now? I'm just going to take a wild guess and say it's C, Spencer, final answer. $900 question. Here we go. In the video game Warcraft 3, which race has green skin? Is it the undead? The Orc, the Night Elves, or the Humans? I don't know. I'm stuck between the Night Elf and the Humans, so I guess I'll have to use 50-50. So you'd like the 50-50? Okay. Computer, take away two of the wrong answers. So the two answers that remain are the Undead and Orc. Alright, that's kind of a surprise. Well, I guess I'll have to take a chance and go for the orc. Final answer. And that's correct. This is what nine dollars. All right, here's the final question: one thousand dollars. The original Philly cheesesteak sandwich was invented in which U.S. city? Was it Philadelphia, Chicago? New York or Tokyo? Oh, alright. I'm not sure. I'm stuck between Chicago and Tokyo. So I'll use my expert lifeline. So you'd like to ask the expert? Alright, bring up the chief. Hey, this is the chief. Hey, chief. You idiot. It's Philadelphia, Philly cheesesteak. I'm from New York. I know that, okay? Well, I guess I'll go with the Chief, and I'll say A, Philadelphia, final, oh. Oh, uh, look.
looks like we're out of time. Tune in next time for Who Wants to Be a Thousandaire? So, who wants to be a thousand air guy cancelled? So now I have to do this stupid gig. Who cares about this stupid idiot and his sword? You see, I have the sandwich here I stole. I'll just beat him with this.
Bandai Beach. It seems like our ship has crashed into these rocks. We need thy booty to repair thy ship. So where is thy ship? There, our ship awaits. There. Let's fix the ship. Arr! Now the quest to look for a job. Hiring me to live somewhere? Thanks, matey. Arr! Where are you all pirates from there? We're from the Caribbean. Okay. All right, guys, it's the end of the road here. We'll see you around. Thanks, matey. Arr! 
giving you another job. Three dollars is never enough. What about that over there? Come on, come on, come on, come on. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. Oh, you guys are not locals, but they, where are you guys from? We're from the Caribbean. Oh, the Caribbean. Well, I got fresh squeezed, uh, nice lemonade, fresh from my seven wives. They squeezed it right from my camel, all seven of them. It took all day, fresh, ice cold, but they tried. How much? Oh, it's 50 cents a piece. Uh, I'll do it all for 750 right now. You want it all? Uh, you, you have to pay? No. Oh, well, I will not go down without a fight, buddy. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Arr! How do we make Larmanar? Arr, matey. But I have an idea. What kind of idea? Hand me that there canteen, matey. I'll be right back. Ah, fresh lemonade. How much for that? Five dollars. Five dollars, you gotta be out of your mind. I'm selling now, scum bucket. What? Well, I don't wanna buy lemonade from you guys. You guys are dirt bags. Both suck at this. Now it's my turn. Alright, you worm. Let's see you. There'll be a customer. Would you like some Larmanar? What? You mean lemonade? Yes, you're right. Larmanar. Sure, whatever, man. How much? Five dollars. What? Five dollars? You kidding me? Nah, man. Forty-eight cents. No! Hey, man. I got a migraine like Helen Keller falling down the stairs. So, shut it! How about 50 cents? 50 cents. Good deal. Yeah. Arr! What are you doing? There'll be less money for painting the garage door. That was three dollars! At least I made money! <laughs> Yo, man! This is... Nay, not be the way you speak of. Yo, man, lemonade is supposed to be cold. It's supposed to have ice, not be steamy warm. Yes, good Larinar it is. Hey, I want my refund. All right, man, you won this round. Just better watch yourselves, because I'll be back for my 50 cents. What a barnacle-biting bastard. How much did we earn? 50 cents. Let's throw on the streets. What the sea urchin is that? R. That'd be a car. It's moving slowly. Could that be a problem? That's not good. It's just a car. Ka-ching. Oh, bless <laughs> No, damn it. Okay. Well, for some odd reason, uh, this guy out here, he took me out of my car while I was trying to have sex with, like, three girls at the club. And uh, he brought me here to catch a football. Well, I want to have sex with three girls at the club. Okay? Who wants to catch a football over that? Because we're going to kill you if you don't catch it. Well, throw me the ball. How hard can this be? Throw me the stupid ball. I'm trying to catch a football. Are you ready? I'm ready. I've been ready for a long time. See, that wasn't hard at all. Why Throw it back. Make, why would you make me 
Get back there and throw it back Why over here. Why would you make me throw it? Why do I need to? I'm trying to have sex with three women at the club, but you're making me throw a football that In way? daylight. Throw the ball back over here. All right, fine. See you do it one more time. What? Yes. I need to go to the this club. This is not an option. I need to go to the club, man. It's freaking 2 o'clock in the morning. No, it's not. It's almost 5. It's not 2 o'clock in the morning. Right, yeah, I was looking at the London clock. My bad, sorry. Here, catch a ball. See, catching a football. Just like one more, one no, more. No, no. I got a gun, so one more. That's, that's BS. Where's your gun? I don't like you, man. So even catches one hand. I don't want to catch one. You got one no hand. choice. This is like alien. This is like predators, man. Deal with it. We're the you predators. You're the victims. If you throw, if you make a bad throw, there's. Then it's your fault. It's on you. Well, catch with one hand. All right. I don't care. That was a terrible throw. No. You have to throw it better than that. And you know what else? I don't have to listen to you. No! <laughs> My name is Dick, and I listen to nobody. What am I doing here? So hey, Slick. Bet you weren't expecting to be laying on a track now, were you? Well, Slick, you see, um, reason why you're on this beloved track is the fact of the matter is you messed with my family. Don't mess with my family. Plus, you stole my Hershey's kisses. And I love my Hershey's kisses. What? No. You're lying to my face, Slick. I don't like that. I mean, the Hershey's kisses was the last straw. You don't steal my Hershey's kisses. If you do that, you wind up here. Or worse, you could be in the cement box in the middle of the Atlantic. You understand? You know exactly what you did, didn't you? I can make this up to you. I know you can. Now, 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 it's okay. Actually, it's not okay, is it? Because you see, Slick, you're going to die. I'm going to be over there. Watch. Knowing that the pain of you will be gone forever. Oh, look, a train. I love trains, don't you? Well, that's not gonna matter now, is it? Cause either way, you're not gonna like this train. Please, just let me off this track. It doesn't have to go this far. Sorry, Slick. Have fun. Come on, just, just let me off this track, please. Please! Please, please! Come on, you gotta let me off the track. Come on, Black Tony. Come on, I'll make this up to you, please. Come on, there's still time! I, I know you can change your mind, there's still time, please! Just let me off the track.
Good news, man. I got you some soda, like you had. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, no. What? What? What's the problem? Looks like there's not very much soda in these bottles. Well, that's what I got at the store, man. It's, oh, a, it's a new European Sure it is. You freaking drank this shit. No, I didn't drink your soda. I'll leave you one chance to tell me the truth. Did you take my soda? No. Did you what? take my soda? What the hell, man? Let me rephrase that, you uh, motherfucker. That is cheap, and you know it. Yes. You caught me. I'll buy you some more soda. Thanks. Where's the money for it? Here. What do you mean, what the fuck am I doing here? This is my house! I thought I told you to die. After you stole my house! You fucking idiot. I bought the house. You must have been drunk. What do you mean you bought the house? Fuck you! Dude, it's not your house. I bought it from a real estate agent, you fucking moron. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I was drunk. Yep. Uh, that's okay. Everybody gets drunk once in a while. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, you know what? Maybe we should hang out sometime. Yeah, maybe tomorrow after work we can hang out, play some games or something. Hmm. All right then. I'll just see you later. Want some oranges? Thanks. You know what's bullshit? Advanced movie screenings. So my friend Nick won tickets to see an advanced screening of The Secret World of Arietti a week before it came out in theaters in early February. He invited me to come with him. I was like, fuck yeah, I'll go to a movie for free. So we travel for an hour and a half 
all the way to Sacramento and arrive about 40 minutes early. We're near the front of the line, and then we're told by somebody working at the theater that there are no more seats left. What the fuck is that? Then why give away so many fucking tickets? We traveled an hour and a half, wasted almost a full tank of gas, only to be told that they ran out of fucking room? This is bullshit. This sucks ass. This movie company obviously doesn't give a shit about its audience if they put everyday people like Nick and I through such an ordeal. And it wasn't just us. There were like 100 more people in line who couldn't get in. Way more people than the amount of seats in the theater. At first, I was pissed off at the movie theater. I saw a fire truck come by, and I was hoping that the theater burned down. Okay, no I wasn't. Or was I? But then, I felt bad after asking someone working there about the problem Nick and I went through. He told me to fuck off, and that it's not his fault. Okay, no he didn't say that. He said something along the lines of, it's the producers of the movie who are in charge of how many tickets are given away for early movie screenings, or some bullshit like that. They give away too many so they can be sure they are guaranteed to have a full theater for the movie. Okay, that's fine. But why give away tickets to a theater that is miles away? Sacramento is a pretty big city. I am certain they could have just only given away tickets to people living there and they would have had enough. I mean, come on. I guarantee you, yes, I guarantee it, that every single person who made it to the movie theater and got a seat for the early screening of The Secret World of Our Yeti was from Sacramento and the greater Sacramento area. Giving away tickets to an event and winning them and traveling for almost two hours to get there and be told you can't go in, that's bullshit. You know what's bullshit? New YouTube channels. Why do we need them? Nobody wants them. So why is YouTube making this stupid change? I've looked at channels with the new design and I hate it. Fucktube obviously doesn't care about any of its users at all, except for Fucktube partners, or shall I say, sponsor tube partners and, well, more fucking sponsors. Sponsor tube only cares about making money. That's it. They probably are changing the channel layout to please their sponsors to help them advertise more. That's bullshit! If those corporate assholes want their channels different, by all means change them, but I want the old design for simple convenience. Everybody who isn't a YouTube partner or sponsor wants the old design. Look at the difference in design. Here is the old one. Look how everything is organized. We have the featured video here. And the rest of the videos are playlists on the side right here. Just scroll up and down or click this button here. And it will show a different kind of layout for what you're looking for. So here are my uploads. Six per row. The thumbnails, they're big enough so that you can see them. And they're small enough so that you can fit more of them on one page. You know, it's very convenient. And not only that, with the previous channel design, when you scrolled up and down the list of videos, you didn't scroll up and down the page, you just scrolled up and down the list of videos. You can scroll up and down the page separately. Now on to the new... What the fuck is that? Why are these thumbnails so fucking big? I don't need them to be that big at all. Even a person who has poor vision to the point where they have to wear layers upon layers of glasses and contact lenses wouldn't need thumbnails so fucking big. Look at this! Wait, a, a feed tab? Now why the hell would I want that? When I look at someone's channel, all I care about are the videos they upload and their playlists. I don't care about what videos they like or who they just subscribe to. And for those who do care, it's an inconvenience! Let's take another look at the old design. You can find someone's feed on there too, but the difference was that their videos and feed were all on the same page. The user's videos are at the top of the page, 
Then scroll down a little and you'll find their feed. Why is this better than the new design? Huh, I thought you'd never ask. I'll show you this bullshit then. What if you visit YouTube for the first time and you visit somebody's channel and it starts you out in the feed tab? Think about that, huh? You're in the feed tab and you're actually looking for this user's videos. You want to find their videos, but you can't find any of their videos. You keep finding other people's videos because you're in the feed tab. And there's no way of knowing where to find their videos because you keep looking through their feed tab. So in order to find somebody's videos in a channel now, you have to scroll all the way back up to the top and then click the video tab. That's bullshit! How does that make things any better? It makes things so much more inconvenient! What drugs were they smoking when they made this? Fucktube calls their new channel designs an upgrade, but actually they took away some of their features. On the old channel designs, you can look up your subscribers and your subscriptions. You'll find it on the same page as your feed, your videos, your featured video, and your comments. On the new channel design, not only are they on separate pages, but they took away the feature of looking up your subscribers and your subscriptions. What the fuck kind of sense does that make? None. So many big websites nowadays keep changing their layouts. This is actually the second time YouTube has changed their channel layout. The last one, which we are about to lose now, was tolerable. But did you know that there was one before it that was actually quite good? Why fix what isn't broke? Now because they are so obsessed with their sponsors and bullshitting the heart of the YouTube community, the regular user, they fucked up and made this dumb layout that sucks bananas. You'd have to have no teeth at all to suck bananas. That sucks. YouTube, I mean sponsor tube, changing their awesome channel designs to their tolerable channel designs to this bullshit. Fuck that. They're probably going to change everyone's channel designs in another two years, and I can imagine it now. Instead of being able to look for every video the user upload on their channel, you can only find one video on their channel and have to click on a cryptic bullshit combination of tabs to find a list of videos or even just find a different video. Or they'll just turn the channel page into the video viewing page. That's bullshit. You know what's bullshit? Bullshit. Ha ha. Happy April Fool's Day, bitches.